but on a you know above grade um, cladding panel, let's say. Oh yeah. Um, where this is where the the architects got an idea of what the building should look like, hmm. and they don't want a flat paint look to it. They want it to look like concrete. They want it to look like concrete or, or stained concrete. It's been very common now. Sure. Yeah. Um, but if you don't coat it, then you're, you're battling carbonation as your protective means of that. Sure. You can slow down the rate of carbonation with some admixes. Sure. That's some really cool technology and some hydrogels. The admixes can also control cracking a little bit, although I, I, I'm yet to see a data sheet that really tells me exactly how much it cracks or I found controls some, cracks. I found some research that uh, there's definitely research that there's self-healing properties to sure. even basic concrete. Sure. Which is like uh, self-healing is sort of like you get dirt in the crack and that, that fills it. Sure. <laughs> there's some crystal. Mixes. There's other admixes that grow crystals sure. just to seal it. Sure. I wouldn't rely on it completely, but if you're going to do it better than doing nothing. I think it's, right. in my opinion, really good as a redundancy. Yes. So if yes. you are painting it and you also have an admixture and you're like, oh, that would sure be, yeah. No one's going to repaint this building. So once the paint starts to fail, the admixture kicks in. Yeah. And then you're not working against that carbonation thing.